Oh, I am back after like a, I don't even know, probably like a month break, being so busy, but we got the subframe all painted up. Solid aluminum bushings because we don't need that rear steer crap. V8 is too heavy. Painted it up good enough for me. Missed a couple spots. A little bit of overspray. Definitely do not feel like taking everything apart and doing it the proper way. Because this is good enough for me. Because I prefer to drive my cars and not work on them for 10 years. So, meh, good enough. Oh yes, I almost forgot. Enduka Racing Polyurethane Energy Suspension Parts. Crap, I still have to do the sway bar and all that crap. Forgot about that. Mint. All right, good morning, guys. Um, We got the rear subframe all in, painted it all up. Bushings are all in. Um, I did that like a couple weeks ago. I think I recorded some of it, can't really remember. But today, we're doing the front end. So bushings, all these control arm bushings. Uh, we got a new steering rack because this one's pooped. Um, we'll put our front brakes on. And we might get around to possibly dropping the engine in. Well, actually, probably just going to get it ready to go in. But uh, we got our brakes. We got new pads. Our bushing kit here. So, yeah, let's get to it. All right, it's out. Where did that come from? Oh, see that's how screwed those uh, sway arm bushings are on this uh, 30 some year old car. <laughs> no bueno. That's pretty cheesy sway bar mount, I guess, but. Okay. Now we gotta pop this guy out. And before I pop this guy out, I'm gonna make sure that kit came with one. Okay, I got this like complete master set off of Injuku Racing. Front sway bar thingies. And this would be front control arm bushings. Oh yeah, front control arm bushings is what that stands for, okay. So these are the big guys that go on the end and the little guys that go on the front. Decent. And then you got these in there. All right, we got them.
Now that's done this i was so happy that i just when i drilled it in there was no like metal insert lots of the bushings in the back have uh it's like uh, a metal bushing like against like whatever it's sitting in and you gotta pound it out and screw around but when i drilled it out it just came everything came right out there was no rubber left in there the perfect sized uh little round saw blade or whatever that they're called i can't I Brain's not working right now. <laughs> screwed around and screwed around i can't get that fucking pin out um i think i'm just gonna get a new a new caliper the guy i bought it off said he'd exchange if these ones were messed up and i for life me i heated the piss out of it as much as i could without you know obviously wrecking the seals and i even did burn a hole in it i got it that hot spray penetrating fluid on it nothing can't get it out so new calipers I still gotta find calipers for the rear. 
all this five bolt stuff is like so hard to find in Canada. It's kind of sucks living here. Parts are so hard to get. And when you do get them, if you order them, they're so expensive because shipping and fucking our dollar sucks. But it is what it is. I guess I can do the other side now. Beer. This side's on, went smooth. 
these pins are actually free, unlike the other side. Um, I am using the four bolt brake line. I believe they're a little different on the five bolt. I don't like how it's sticking out. I just basically snugged it up. See what happens, see if it seals or not. Ideally, you'd want all new brake lines, but this build is getting extremely excessive. So I just want to drive it and just keep upgrading as I go, instead of just not being able to drive it and just overbuild it right at once. But anyways, Sway Bar, please send me money, I'm broke now. La 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 race car. It's in, no more stupid bushings. All the bushings have been replaced apart from these little, here, I'll show you. These guys right here, I, they're like a saw, like they're not like rubber. They got like a, some sort of like metal in them. And it, it's like, uh, it's almost like a ball joint, but it's got like uh, little collars through it. But anyways, it had no play in it, so I left that alone. 
Um, yeah, sway bars in there, those bushings. I don't know why, but every single one of these um, sway bar bushings, all of them were way too big. I, I thought about trimming them down and screwing around, trying to get it tight, but I was like, honestly, screw it. Not gonna make that much of a difference. Um, now we just gotta change out the steering rack for our new one. And then we can test fit the wheels. And the best part is these steering wheels aren't keyed, so you can you can pop them off and turn them a bit. And so, so that's really nice. We get it off like a little bit. I mean, if you get it off a whole turn, you might rip your clock spring out, but yep. <laughs> shaft on <clears throat> looks like we're steering slightly to the right put the steering all just go like that straighten the wheel out and we should have though I can tell already that's too much so we need to take that off and move it a little bit more. Okay. All right, mostly everything's buttoned up. The only thing we're needing is rear calipers and a, f and a front caliper because I couldn't get the pins out. But check it out, put the new wheels on. The rear, definitely. I want to run a bit of a spacer, get that out a bit. Front looks pretty good. Looks pretty nice and flush. Um, but we have a tiny bit of rubbish. I could grind the shock down or whatever a little bit, but I think it's gonna hit the springs and blah, 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 blah. So I'm gonna get spacers. I, was, I wasn't sure what kind of spacers I needed. But I seen that there's a website that sells them. They're like Pacific Mazda, Mazda size spacers. So you don't, you know, run the risk of being off centered a little bit and vibrations and whatnot. But yeah, I definitely think I can get those spacers now because I definitely want, want some more uh, tire poke, better fitment. But yeah, it looks sweet. I guess I could also put the car on the ground and see what it looks like there too, but. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know if you like the wheels, yay or nay, in the comments. 
I like them. I think they suit the car pretty good. Goes nice with the red. Um, yeah. Peace.